What's going on everybody? So today we have a really cool uh, workout today. A few clips from one of E's workouts. Um, he's one of our middle school baseball players. Fun fact, he also plays football. Dual sport athlete, so we really um, enjoy having him in, in the weight room and I'll kind of walk you through what we're doing here. We always start with our movement and our breathing prehab exercises first before we get into any type of core activity work, which you see right here. Um, the reason why we do our breathing and our prehab stuff before the core is we're getting the body set up to move well and work on some of those limiting factors in our range of motion where we have compression or may not have compression. So after we do that, we go into the core and then from the core, we go into um, a little bit more active movement stuff. So we have some landmine sways right here. This one's great for him. He's a catcher as well. So we're working on some adductors, getting some range of motion and lower body strength as well with that and then we're going to be moving on to our spring ankle series right here um, getting ready for some jumps and sprints you'll see the jumps here in a second um, pretty much from here we're trying to build up our tendons and ligaments to get them nice and strong and stiff to help absorb load and produce force and right here you'll see him coming down holding and pausing for three seconds but he kind of screwed up in the first one so i let him know three two one and then explode up we are we are manipulating parts of the jump to get more explosive um, from the ground and utilizing the ground more. Next, we're going into our big lift of the day, which is a three second down, three second hold, and three second up deadlift. And right there, he kind of got chirped at by us for not touching the ground and doing it the way we want him to. And he makes a great um, adjustment right there. Time under tension is amazing for athletes. It helps own the mind-muscle connection, which is kind of like that quote unquote foo foo stuff, but we re I truly believe that having the athlete understand how his or her body works, three seconds down, three second hold, three seconds up, it's gonna build up some muscle, get a ton of strength for them, build up that tendon, your te their tendon strength, their ligament strength, their tolerance to stress on the body and those neural ad adaptations that happen alongside with this as well too. And then we have some auxiliary lifts that come alongside it, our supporting lift, we have some anterior tibialis raises that help protect that knee, ankle joint, um, per, uh, absorbing shock as we're jumping and sprinting. A good auxiliary lift for that deadlift. We have a B stance RDL, same thing. Three seconds down, three second hold, three seconds up. He kind of cut these short just a little bit, but that's totally fine. Um, he's only in seventh grade, super strong, bench presses 70 pounds, deadlifts a bunch of weight. I mean, great athlete. So I hope you enjoyed this video of me talking about time under tension and walking through the workout. I'll talk to you guys later.